here, and if you haven't already guessed it, I love the wizarding Harry Potter world just as much as I love pickles. I got my Harry Potter Gryffindor hat that the house from when Harry Potter's in. However, I took the Pottermore quiz and I am Slytherin. I got my awesome wand here that I got at um, Ollivander's hmm. while I was in Hollywood. I will share a link in the description below for that video on how I got my wand. But, um, the Wizarding World place in Hollywood is amazing. There's tons of merchandise. I felt like I was in heaven. But, um, I hear the news that, um, the American Hogwarts, as you might say, um, that school is called Ivory Moor. And if I was a wizard, that's where I'd go, because I'm from America. And they have revealed their houses, which is Horn Serpent, Wombus, Thunderbird, and Puckwudgie. The Horn Serpent is a dragon-like serpent with horns and long teeth. They can control the weather, rain, thunder, lightning. They can shapeshift, have invisibility, and even hypokinetic powers. The Thunderbird is a very large bird. It can generate storms and thunder as it flies. It can have flames coming out of its body. The Wombus is a cat-like creature that resembles a cougar. The name Wombus comes from the Cherokee tribe. And then, of course, there's the Pugwudgies. That's kind of a funky name. But it's a term used for, in the Native American tribe, as a two to three feet tall, human-shaped creature with large ears, nose, and fingers. The skin is smooth and gray and sometimes glows. Their magical abilities, including disappear and reappear, and also partially or completely transform into a porcupine and cougar. And they can also create fire. And J.K. Rowling is writing her history of the wizarding world in America. She's including the Indians, as we can tell from those two terms, but also the Salem witch trials. And I'm curious to see how that all plays together. And I'm excited for the new Fantastic Beasts coming out this year. So this has been Pickles Gaming. Game on. Mm.